extending some 2,500 kilometers across northwestern Africa, the Atlas Mountains span Morocco, Algeria and Tunisia. The Atlantic Ocean lies to the west, the Mediterranean Sea to the north and the Sahara Desert to the south. The High Atlas region is the birthplace of one of Morocco's finest long-distance runners, Mohamed Ahansal. A five-time winner of the prestigious Marathon des Sables, Ahansal has applied his skills to organizing some of the toughest running events in the world. The Trans Atlas Marathon is his signature race, and for this fifth edition, he's come up with an entirely new 280-kilometer course. I've been planning a new course for the Trans Atlas Marathon for the past 12 months. The route covers some very scenic and interesting areas of the Azilal province. And I think that this year's participants will enjoy discovering the magnificent landscapes. This year's Trans Atlas Marathon attracts 40 competitors from all over the world. Their first two days are spent completing the registration process, being assessed by the medical team and preparing mind and body for the six-day challenge that lies ahead. <laughs> Daily running distances average over 40 kilometers and there's little in the way of flat terrain. Temperatures in excess of 30 degrees Celsius heighten the physical challenge, and although checkpoints along the course offer the chance to top up on water supplies, many athletes are pushed to their limits. As well as supplying drinking water, the event's organizers provide tents, transport the runners' kit bags, and prepare all the food. Despite the meticulous organization, many feel the Trans Atlas Marathon is up there with some of the toughest races in the world. It is at least three times harder than I thought it was. I've run the Hard Rock 100, I've run all kinds of uh, multi-day races, and this is by far the hardest thing I've ever done. Medical support is essential in events like this, and here in Morocco it's provided by doctors, nurses and paramedics from an organization that specializes in working at extreme or remote sporting challenges. We're just at checkpoints throughout the race, making sure that as runners come through to us, they're not poorly, um, they're getting enough fluid on board, they're eating enough, um, and that we haven't got anybody collapsed around the course. Then when they all come in here, again, making sure everyone's okay, and then doing things like checking feet, sorting out blisters, and getting them ready for the race tomorrow. Despite the range of nationalities competing, the marathon has, to date, been dominated by Moroccan runners, many of whom have taken part in previous editions of the race. Whilst the Trans Atlas Marathon is a competitive event, it's more of a personal challenge for many. Lifelong friendships are formed as participants experience the highs and lows that are an integral part of ultra-running. With its unique and varied landscape comprising deserts, lush green valleys and vertiginous mountains, the marathon provides a backdrop that's hard to find anywhere else in the world. After six days and 280 kilometers of running, only four athletes fail to complete the course. For the second year in succession, Moroccan athlete Ablaziz Barraza emerges as the winner. It was a great race for me, and my thanks go out to Mohamed Al-Hansel, who did a great job in putting it all together. 